Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel Kotsen and I'm Dennis and today what I'm going to do is show you how to set up a website or domain name with a full encryption or strict encryption through Cloudflare. In this tutorial I'm assuming or is my belief that you already got a website on CyberPanel or wherever you got it and of course then on this tutorial we're using CyberPanel to be able to do our certificate so Hopefully you have that already signed up if you know and put on if you don't there's a tutorial for that Just go back and watch that catch you up to where we're at I'm in Cloudflare and I'm actually in the domain name that I want to use or the website I want to use tech2go.org And what we need to do is once you get into this particular page You click on the whatever name you want to use and it bring you to this page I want you to access this right here. It's called SSL TLS. And I'm going to go ahead and remove myself from this video. And we're going to go forward with this. So click the SSL TLS. And as you can tell, it brings me into this. And when I got full or strict already uh, highlighted in it, of course, here's the thing. <clears throat> when you do that, you can see that it does end in and counting the uh, your your server, of course, Cloudflare's in there, and the browser. So I mean, it is a very uh, complete encryption. But the biggest problem is that when we put this on and we go to that website, and let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to the tech to go website and as you could tell it throws an error for our host see host name error or error and and it shows that the cloudflare is working good the browser is working good but here's the problem now we're going to fix this problem and the reason that we have in this particular problem is because we don't have a origin certificate so go back over to your cloudflare and we're going to set up an origin certificate so what we're going to do we're going to go down till we see this as origin server and we're going to go ahead and click into it and as you could tell there's no certificates for this particular origin server so what we're going to do we're going to create a certificate and hit Create certificate. Okay, everyone. What I recommend is go ahead and leave this on PM. PM. This is the origin server. It's going to be your public key. Basically, the origin is your server, but the top one is your public key, and the bottom one is your private key. This is what I suggest: open up a Word doc or a your favorite text editor and copy and paste these in there. Because when we click this OK button, you will not see your private key anymore. It's gone. It's not accessible. So if you got any kind of reconfiguring, something happened, or whatever the case may be, you will need this information. I'm going to copy the top one. I'm going to go to Cyber Panel. That's one I'm using. If you're using something different, you're going to have to just find where your SSL at. Of course, you can tell I'm at Tech to Go. I'm going to enter into tech to go well crap hold on uh, let me see right here that's where i'm gonna manage it i'm gonna go all the way down to the not the very bottom but the third row it says add ssl go into it and you will see two sections you the first one is your public key and the second one is going to be your private key now if you Mix them up. Will it make a difference? I do not know. I normally just put the, the public key in the left and a private key in the right. But when you get both of them copied and pasted in the correct one, go ahead and click save. As you can tell, it's spinning around. It's trying to... There we go. SSL save. And now we can go back over to Cloudflare and we can hit OK. As you see, it's got our wildcard 
and it's got our primary domain set up and we could easily you know check this and make sure everything's good you know on that but that's got two hosts going so we're good to go and what we're doing it might take just a little bit to propagate but we gonna or to get not necessarily propagate but to get uh in the system and go and get but we're gonna try this again we're gonna click tech to go dot org and see if has it already registered into it it's been in thing there we are now as you can tell i'm running a secure end-to-end -end encryption earlier we had an 526 error on this particular uh, domain but now since i edit the origin uh, server 2 and i'm gonna go back as you can see it is fully encrypted, full strict and i love it and that way it's end to end and you can see everything there 